Hello folks, and welcome to back to Metro Last uh, to the Metro Universe in the form of Metro Last Light Redux. Unlike um, when I did me um, Metro 2033 Redux and got the canonal, though bad ending, I'm actually going to follow a guide here, though I'm going to have to go find it, uh, as I forgot to just remember it like a moment ago, uh, of how to get the good ending. The reason I want a good ending is, well, It'd be nice to have a good ending for once. Last FPS, I, um, well, last shooter I did, it had pretty sad endings. Even the one where it's like more happy, it's still kind of, you know, fucked up. Um, if you don't know what it was, which game I'm referring to, it's uh, Spec Ops The Line. It's a very good game. Like, mechanically, nothing really stands out. It's just a normal shooter, a third person shoot, cover based shooter. It does have a you, the ability for you to say, uh, command your uh, teammates to go kill people, but I find it to be a little fiddly. Um, but the story is the, you know, more attraction part. So, like, redux, good ending. I'm just loading up a random website. It's uh, Game Front. Okay. They give um, an example of things here. When asked how it all started, I always tell that it all began that day when we went to Botanical Gardens. We, meaning yours truly, and two of my friends. Whose idea was it to visit the abandoned station? Who persuaded the others to go? I always tell them that I don't remember. I always lie. It is a safe lie. Or there is no way to ascertain the truth. Both Vitali and Eugene are dead now. The massive airlock doors shrugged and opened with a grinding sound. Opening a road to hell for us, and the road into the metro for the demons. But in fact, it all started that day when Mother said we should take a walk in the botanical gardens and go there by metro. I remember how we took a short escalator to the surface, how we exited a spacious glass pavilion and saw a street buried in green. I remember the small clouds moving across the limitless sky. The soft, cool wind on my face. Mother bought me an ice cream. That was the last time I tasted it. That day, humanity was executed. The righteous and the sinful were called to be rendered according to their deeds. And we hid from God's sight in the metro. And we were saved from his wrath. And he apparently decided that flushing us out wasn't worth the trouble. Then he went about his business, or perhaps died. While we stayed on this used up and discarded earth and continued just going with it. Going nowhere. I remember so many random, unnecessary things. Yet I don't remember the most important one. My mother's face. She died very soon after the war started. All that remains of her is that day in the gardens. How I wished I could recall her face. The way she looked at me. The way she whispered that I have nothing to fear. I'd sell my soul just to recall that. I'd do that any day, any time. And I did. Fire for GT1. Damn. And that's all I can say. Like, damn. I was kind of tearing up slightly there, to be honest. Like, I could feel my eyes kind of heating up or whatever. It's just, I know, some about it just. Damn is all I can say. Um. 
completing, um, this is what the website says, and it's also a work in progress. Uh, game morality. Uh, completing all actions listed here is not required to get the best ending, but doing as many possible will improve chances of unlocking. Sparing, surrendering soldiers, list, uh, rescuing women and children, listening to NPC stories, playing dialogue in populated areas, playing musical instruments, be generous with bullets, give it to beggars. Also, the di dialogue in populated areas, the listening to, uh, is, sorry, is exploration. I'll be adjusting the graphical settings now in a second. Just get on to the options menu. My machine is kind of shit, it's five years old. Um, so this is qu very high quality. I wonder if this is sh gone to shite. Stay on low. You daft bastard. Motion bore. Oh. Okay, it's taking a moment. Anyway, do exactly what NPCs instruct. Um, for example, a certain NPC says a creature is not hostile, don't kill it. The game is going to look poorer now. Apologies, but it's the only way I could actually play it. Um, I do plan on getting a better machine, but it won't be for a while. It's, ex it's expensive. Watch the entire theater show in Venice. Motherfucker. For those who didn't watch my Metro Last Light replay, the theater show in Venice, I pr would have to edit that out to put it on YouTube. Women were very scantily clad. I don't think nipples are anywhere showing, but... Uh, so. Finding hidden ammo caches on quarantine. Complete separation without killing humans. Uh, same with Facility Revolution and Bridge and without killing humans. And this is last slide, right? Yes, it is. Um, re rescue women, the women and children and bandits. Rescue the prisoners in the Reich concentration area. Rescue the crying child's teddy bear in Venice. Uh, see all visions in Dead City and don't kill the demons on the rooftop. Don't kill Pavel or Lensinski. I don't know that person. Uh, shoot the creatures off the mother bear mutant after the boss fight. And, um... Uh, lose morality. Killing humans, killing surrendering soldiers, stealing in populated areas, paying for a lap dance, and watching the striptease. These things aren't like the others. Um... Yeah. Alright. Doesn't seem too hard. Though I do remember a weird thing. You also know if you got a, a morality point is if the screen like lights up a little. You'll just they'll kind of like fade white. Uh, uh, well, fade white. But there'll be uh, around the sides there'll be a little like white glow, and you'll know that it's um, you've got a morality point. Okay, survival or Spartan. Uh, with ammo and uh, soldiers in short supply, deadlier combat, more challenging stealth. Survival style uh, offers players the original survival horror oriented experience, Metro 2033, with an emphasis on resource management and tense combat. Spartan. Enjoy the more forgiving combat and stealth experience of Metro Last Light when Spartan style is selected. Perfect for players who like their faster paced, more action oriented gameplay. Ammo and filters and other resources are more also more plentiful. Let's go with survival. Um, why? I'm not entirely sure. I think I would prefer playing it that way. While I don't, while I have no problem just shotgunning my way through, um, basically survival kind of makes it so you don't fight. Like like you have to stealth around, 
basically I'm saying this is added encouragement for me to go for the good ending. Um, if you want to see the ba uh, bad ending, see the Sailor V as it's called ending, um, watch my Metro last night. Uh, let's play. So this way you can see both endings, hopefully. Okay, normal, hardcore, or ranger hardcore. Sorry, normal, hardcore, ranger, or ranger hardcore. So this is uh, for regular FPS players. You need to watch your ammo and filter supplies and approach every combat scenario with extreme caution. Hardcore. Um, every encounter presents a serious challenge to your skills. Ammo and resources are jealously, must be jealously guarded. S success cannot be guaranteed. Ranger. In Ranger Normal, the HUD and UI are limited and hints are disabled for increased immersion. Your enemies do more do more damage, but so do you. Combat is tense, tactical, and brutal. Resources are even scarcer. Every bullet counts. In, in Ranger Hardcore, the HUD, UI, and all hints are completely disabled for the most for the most immersive Metro experience ever, and the difficulty level is increased in every department. This is the ultimate Metro challenge. I kind of like how both sides, both you and your enemies, do more damage. Um, I think to the point where you can end up one shot with maybe with certain guns or in certain scenarios, you can just end up being demolished. But the same holds true for your enemies. Kind of like it, because other games make it more difficult by just, uh, you know, here, here's a ton of damage done to you. You know? Well, sorry, let me rephrase that. The enemies are tougher. More, they have more help to do more damage, that kind of thing. Rather than this balancing way. Of course, I'm not sure how great of a way it is, but it's certainly different to what I'm giving credit for. Uh, also, I mentioned before about doing a video in relation to the... Um, talking about the story of Metro. I figured maybe I should wait until I'm done Metro Last Life Redux before doing so. Also, I didn't put up a video saying that because I felt kind of embarrassed in doing so. As a question how interested people would actually be in me talking about it. Just basically low self-confidence, more than that. So, uh, one second. Hey, folks, and I'm back. The Dark Ones came much later. From the garden direction. The Dark Ones, huge, towering a full head over the highest man. Nightmarish creatures, creepy as a man turned inside out. Monsters born to destroy us. The word was they were incredibly strong and unnaturally evil. That with bare paws they could tear armed men apart. Joseph. <laughs> That's all lies. Truth is even scarier. Hey folks, uh, t t third time trying. Basically, a part of this reminded me of Voltaire's song Crusade. Basically, it amounts to people not knowing um, the song. It's like the people just not knowing their enemy well enough. They like t believing like you know, things people say about them and not truly knowing their enemy. Like, like people claiming that the Dark Ones were supernaturally strong and evil and here to kill us when, you know, that wasn't true. Though we will see that they're great at fighting. Um, and similarly, basically, the song, which I do recommend listening to, it's basically, as far as I could tell, you know, you should know your end. <laughs> There's more to it than that, but yeah. I feel awkward really going into much detail. It's, I feel very awkward right now, just as a whole, so. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave you do the legwork to, to understand my point. Maybe if I feel more comfortable later on, like, get into the groove of this, I'll feel better. So. Rawr. Card only 11, 12 frames per second. TB would not be happy. Before the war, I, up there, I was on the train when it happened. 
I tried calling my family, but couldn't get through. What the? I'm not moving. What happened? Shit. Okay, I'm gonna have to change that key. Uh, right, having it on right click is shite with a Mac mouse, and you can't like Apple doesn't sell any other type than the Magic Mouse, as, as it's called. Um, I'm gonna have to change this to something else because right click that just doesn't work. Ugh. I don't know, remember what I did in Metro last night, um, 2033. Okay. Oh, he isn't the find then. Fucking bastard. No. We're gonna have to go over to P to aim. No, that's not. That doesn't work. Why? As in, why me? H. All right, if I want to aim, I have to hit H. Actually, wait, tab. No, tab is already for weapons in the tree. This key, okay, this key works. It's not actually that button in the slightest. Um, that isn't actually on my keyboard here. It's the one next, it's the button next to the one key. Makes moving a little more awkward as I have to use my pinky. Oh, motherfucker. Screen. It's like he's still wearing a gas mask or something. Still alive. I immediately set out to find you, as you were the one they tried to contact before you launched the missile strike against them. <laughs> Never gonna let that go, already, Khan. Never gonna let my attempted at genocide go. Yes, Ullman, one moment. If a dark one has survived, it is vital that you try to speak with it, Artyom. I realize that as one of the order now, you report to Miller. We must persuade him to allow this mission. Khan, I told you to get out! This is a classified base. You shouldn't even be here. I'll take you to Colonel Miller. Follow me, Arthur. Get ready, Artyom. I'll be waiting at the exit. Move it, you windbag. I knew a smoker once. During the last year of his life, he had to eat. I'm not doing any of this. He's doing it all automatically. 